The following content is provided by a I Am Refocused radio contributor. Pastor Vera McEwen with Love God Ministries will be sharing today's message. And now, here is your host, Pastor Vera McEwen. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 8, beginning in verse 5. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes. And that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feet with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go, let it be done just as you believe it would. And his servant was healed at that very moment. Today's message is all about healing, being healed, and wholeness. The message title is Triple P. And as we walk through this, you will hear the P sound of faith, the P sound of prayer, and the P sound of wholeness and being healed by the Prince of Peace. Now, you know me, I like to dig into different versions and different testaments. So let's turn to the Old Testament reading, Jeremiah, as we begin this journey into the Triple P. What I want you to take away from this message today is that you, you who matter so much to God, you who matter so much to me, is packed with the power of prayer. Jeremiah 17, let's hone in specifically on verse 7. It says here in the Bible that I'm reading, I'm reading the NIV version, it says, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord with confidence in him. Hmm. Now, when you look up that word in the Hebrew, trust, it's the same word for confidence. It's the same word for secure. It's the same word for rely upon. And all of those words have this deep essence about them, right? And that deep essence is faith. Blessed is the one who trusts. The Hebrew word there is batach. Batach. Trust. Trust 
requires a faith. Trust requires a firm foundation. Trust requires a footing on the rock of the Lord, which is Christ. And then again, it goes on, who's confidence? And now we know that that is the same word in Hebrew, that word confidence, and it is the tach. And we find security in that v'tach that is our Lord, Jesus Christ. Jeremiah goes on to say in verse 14, heal me, Lord. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. You see, Jeremiah's faith is so strong on that firm foundation that is the rock that Jeremiah has this vitach feeling, this secure feeling of being able to rely upon the consistency of Christ, the consistency of God, the consistency of the Lord who will heal the sick when we pray. So, he says, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, Lord, and I will be saved. And of course, many of you know, right, we call him Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha. Well, that word for heal is Rapha. And what this Jeremiah is saying right here is, oh, Raphaeli, heal me, Lord. Me and I will be healed. And we've talked a lot about this Hebrew word Yeshua, which means save, help. And of course, he says, ah, heal me, Lord, save me, Lord, and I will be ah, saved. Again, Jeremiah recognizing that the Tach, when he trusts in, when he has faith in this firm foundation, this rock mm, that is Christ the Lord, that if you cry out, but if I me, heal me, you will be healed. If you cry out, save me, yet you will be saved. And that same cry is heard in Psalm 30. And if you turn to Psalm 30, specifically verse 2, it says, Lord my God, I called to you for help. And you, what does it say there? Read it. Say it again. That's right. Rafi, Rafa, heal me. You heal me. I cry to you, I call to you, and you feel me. And that word, that word that says, I call to you, is a combination of, I call to you for help. And it's really, yet I I call to you for help, and you save me, yet I And we know that that word is yesha, the word for save, the word for heal, the word for help. And it's also hmm, the root of Jesus' name in Hebrew, Yeshua. I call to you, Yeshua, I call to you, and you saved me. And the word here is Shema. And I love that because Shema sounds so much like save. I called for help. Shema was the call, and you responded. God, Lord, in triune, and healed me when I cried. And then I want you to pop down to verse 11. Because after that Shabbat, after that cry for help, after that cry for salvation, after that cry for saving grace, what happens in verse 11? My wailing, my Shabbat, my cry has turned to what? Dancing. And I love this word in the Hebrew for dancing. It's chol. It's like, I cried out Shiva, help me, save me. And you made me chol. You made me chol. 
coal and you turned my wailing into this dancing. And this dancing is whole and I am whole through dancing. You are packed with this powerful substance in triune that lives within you. And through prayer, mm, you can be healed. And why do we know that? Turn to James. James is in the New Testament. It's really toward the very back, really close to John and Apocalypse, the Revelation. And James, in chapter 5, tells us in verse 13 specifically, if anyone is sick, then call on people around you. Call on the church. Call on the ministry. Call on your family. Call on your friends to do what? What does it say there? That's right, because you are packed with the power of prayer. It says pray. And the prayer offered, it says in verse 15, will make the sick person well. The prayer will make the sick person well. James goes on to tell us that prayer is so powerful that Elijah, who was a human being just like you and me is what James says, called on the power of prayer to stop it from raining entirely. To stop it from raining. That's how powerful prayer is. For three and a half years, it says in verse 17. And then... He prayed again. This is Elijah praying again. Elijah prays again. And what happens? What happens is that it rains. The prayer of a powerful person, the prayer of a person like you and me, a human being who has confessed their sins to God, who stands in the faith on God, the tach. This trust in God, the talk, this confidence in God, the talk, this mm, security in God has this powerful, powerful ability through prayer. And I, I love the word for faith in Greek. It's pisti. It's a pus out as well. You see, because prayer is so far, even the word for prayer the devil may, right, is also a P word. The triple P today is all about you and that you have this amazing power like Elijah that when you pray, you can heal. You can heal and be healed. And you're probably thinking, you know, Mary, that's kind of way out there. I can pray with this power and be healed and heal? Absolutely. Now, am I telling you not to go to the doctor? No. Am I telling you not to go to emergency? No. What I'm telling you is that you have this amazing power within you when you stand on the firm foundation that is the faith and footing, right? And that is Jesus Christ, the solid rock. Now, wait a minute, though. We read that glorious gospel scripture that Matthew wrote for us. Turn back to that. Matthew chapter 8. In Matthew chapter 8, specifically verse 13, it says something quite clearly. You see, we talked about Jesus and the centurion, right, in this chapter. And the centurion goes to Jesus and says, you know what? My servant is so ill, paralyzed and suffering. And Jesus says, okay, well, do you want me to go? 
And she goes, oh, no, 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 I, you don't need to go. And why does the centurion say you don't need to go? Because he recognizes the tach. And there is a faith in the firm foundation, in the footing that is Jesus Christ. And when you have faith in Jesus Christ, there is the tach, security. There is, mm, there is confidence. There is trust. There is this belief, pistebe, that this can happen with a firm foundation on Christ, the solid rock. And so the conversation goes on, and Jesus says, you know, I've never heard anybody in my current situation that says, wow, you know, if Jesus just says the word, it's going to happen. And he says, truly, I tell you, this faith of yours is incredible. And, you know, I'm not sure what your Bible says. We read the NIV. Mine basically says, go, let it be done as you say. And it says, and a servant was healed that very moment. Now, i got to tell you what it says in the Greek because it's a little different. And you need to know this because you are packed with the power of prayer. And you're packed with this powerful ability because you're human just like Elijah. And if you pray just like Elijah, you can heal the sick. You can heal yourself. Oh my goodness, there is so much power in you that nothing is impossible. So what does it say in the Greek, Vera? You're probably thinking, right? It says, pastem, that faith, that your faith, centurion, your faith and your belief in the patah, in the confidence, in the security of the Lord, of God, of Jesus Christ, of me, of all that is around you and living within you in triune. And then it has that word. And if you've listened to me before, you know this word. It's the Greek word, geneteto, genet. And we know that word is like a Genesis word, right? And what did, what did that first scripture that we read in the Old Testament, Jeremiah, say? When you've got this planting next to this stream that is the spring, that is the Lord God. That there is this regeneration, this Genesis, Genet, that happens. And so Jesus tells the centurion, your pistete, your faith, geneteto, created, birthed, rose up, was able to heal your servant. And he ends that with soon. Your faith, your belief, created this birth in this person. Created this healing in this person. What I want you to glean this day, what I want you to feel moving in you this day is that you have that power. What is the triple P? It's quite easy. You are packed with the power of prayer. And when you stand on the firm foundation in Patach, mm, you are secure in this healing. I love to look at nature to see how nature heals and goes through a migration is quite incredible. There is this wonderful documentary, this wonderful narrative called Mother Octopus. You need to look it up. It's about a man who spends time with an octopus. And in spending time and learning from this glorious creature, he watches something quite interesting happen. 
One day he's underwater with the octopus watching and, and filming. And the octopus is attacked. And the octopus is going back and forth and back and forth with his attacker. And the attacker grabs one of the arms of the octopus and severs it completely so that the octopus has no arm. Of course, seven others are left, but the octopus is missing one of its arms. And as the filmer goes back and forth to visit Mother Octopus, he sees Mother Octopus over time regenerating an arm. And when I read up on this, an octopus can regenerate the arm, creating all of the nerves and everything in it. And what I'm here to tell you today is that if you're being mentally attacked, if you're being physically attacked, if there is something going on in your mind, if there is something going on in your physical body, there is a power in prayer. And that power can bring about a peace that can help you regenerate. This month, we're going to listen and walk through a narrative about a beautiful, beautiful man with courage and faith. And his faith stood on the firm foundation that is Jesus Christ. His name is Gary Miracle. I know, right? The name is glorious. Gary Miracle. Look him up. And I love that there's a song that is so in tune with his narrative. Did you find Gary Miracle? Yes. So we will be walking through the miracle of his life. But before we get to Gary Miracle, because we're going to end with his, the music, I want to tell you about healing and being healed. I believe that the devil is very active. I believe that the enemy is very active. I believe that there are forces that are out there working hard to take us up out of our health and wellness, out of our wholeness, out of our completeness, our sense of peace. And some days it's a battlefield. And there is only one way to penetrate that battlefield and to be back in a place of peace. And that is recognizing who you are. You, like the centurion, you, like Elijah, you have a power within you. When you stand on this firm foundation of faith, this batach, you have security. And not only that, you have genetito. And what did we say that gene means? You have the ability to rebirth, to recreate, to create and heal your mind and heal mm, your body and heal your spirit through prayer and through the help of God. You are packed with power. And that power is prayer. In the song, Say I Won't, there's a lyric and it says, not enough is what I have been told. How many of you have been told that you're not enough? 
How many of you have been told that you don't matter? How many of you have felt that you are invisible? Today, that changes. Today, we change our dialogue from not enough, from invisible, from not being seen, from being told you can't recreate, regenerate, heal, to I am enough. Repeat that with me. I am enough. One more time. I am enough. Everyone, I am enough. And the beauty is that you are. When you, the tie, have faith and partner in with God, the Holy Spirit, and Christ in triune, you are more than enough. You are now packed with the power of prayer. And the power of prayer can stop rain and produce rain. It can take an arm and recreate it. And you're probably thinking, you know, Barry, you are way out there today. But I got to tell you a little narrative. A couple of weeks ago, I was ice skating. And I, I absolutely love to ice skate. I love outdoors. I love to be out. It doesn't matter if it's cold or warm. I want to be outside. And so I was ice skating. And I fell on the ice. And I hit my hand so hard that I could feel it reverberate all the way up into my shoulder. And I thought, oh my goodness, wow, that, that's looking pretty bad. It immediately started turning, this whole area started turning purple and black. And then I thought, if I can't use my hand, because I started not being able to move my fingers. That wouldn't be a good thing. And then I kept thinking in my mind, well, well what if this happens? And, and what if this happens? And, and what if this happens? And then I realized that I was packed, that I am packed with power. And so I cried out to the Lord in prayer. That's right, Sama. I cried out to the Lord in prayer and I said, help me, save me. And I began to massage my hand just like this, right? And as I had to ride my bike home from the skating arena, and I could feel my hand not wanting to move. I could feel my fingers not wanting to move. I got home and my hand just didn't want to move. And I kept saying, God, I need your help. I need your help. And then I realized I needed to thank God for the power within me. You are packed with power. When you pray, and I began to pray for peace, because I know with healing, there needs to be peace. And the blackness started to spread up and down my arm. And I kept saying, God, I need this hand and I need peace and I need you to help me. God, I need this hand and I need peace and I need you to help me. And then all of a sudden my shoulder started to hurt and I, I couldn't move my shoulder and my arm. I said, God, I need you to help me. I need you to help me. And the only other time I felt this way was in a snowboarding accident. And I'll never forget the next day. I had twisted wrong and the size of my ankle became this big old grapefruit. And it hurt so bad, I couldn't even have the sheet on it. And I said, I cannot think that this is going to end up like that. I have got to work and heal, work and heal. And all night long, I prayed. And I remember feeling and not being able to sleep well, but all night long, I prayed. And in the morning, Psalm 30, in the morning, you see, I saw, I cried out. And that wailing, that wailing, sabah, sabah, help me, save me. That wailing turned into dancing the next day. And I was able to move all of my fingers. Am I telling you not to go to the doctor? No. Am I telling you not to go to emergency? No. What I'm telling you is you are packed with power. And when you change your dialogue to I am enough and to get it, that tip toe, I can, I can create and heal. You 
will be able to create and heal. Now, you may be thinking, well, Vera, I can't do it on my own. And that's great. Call on the elders and pray together. There is something that you need to know about you. You are packed with the power of prayer. And with that power, you have the ability to change your dialogue and say, I am enough. Because in saying that and recognizing that you are partnered with the Prince of Peace, you can produce a powerful healing within. You are packed with the power of prayer. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Make sure you share that peace with all those around you so that everyone around you can recognize that peace. Hey, it's Shamai Reed with I Am Refocus Radio. Make sure you go to IamRefocusRadio.com to listen to today's episode. Once again, like we always say, keep God first, stay focused, and peace. I Am Refocus Radio is brought to you by FOO 4 Star and Holy Crab. FOO 4 Star is a family-owned Asian restaurant in San Antonio, Texas. We have been a local favorite for Asian cuisine for over 10 years. With nothing but full smiles and fast service, you'll be leaving satisfied. Come on in for some authentic Vietnamese food. Holy Crab is one of a kind Cajun Creole style seafood restaurant located in Universal City, Texas. We offer traditional seafood items as well as chicken and steak. We also offer seafood boils. Come give us a try. You won't be disappointed. You can find these two eateries in Universal City, Texas at 2921 Pat Booker Road.